Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand nth pseudo classes. There are four nth pseudo classes we have nth child, nth last child, nth of type and nth last of type. In the previous video tutorials, we have discussed that we can pass to nth pseudo classes a parameter which can be a number a keyword or a mathematical formula. If we pass a number to nth pseudo classes, the selectors are going to target to a single element in their parent HTML element. You can see here, I have a sample code written in default.html. In the body section, I have written two divs, one div1, another one is div2. Both of them have 10 paragraphs. First div has the red border, second div has the green border. You can see this is the output for that code. First div has the red border, second div has the green border and both of them have 10 paragraphs. I go to the notepad here in between the style tag. I say locate any paragraph if it is the nth child, if it is the nth child of one in flower bracket, I say border of 2px dotted blue semicolon. I am telling to the browser, locate any paragraph if it is the first child and apply the 2px dotted blue border around it. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the first paragraph is the first child of div1 and this paragraph is the first child of div2. Both of them are having the dotted blue border. What if I want to select multiple elements and apply the styles? What if I want to select multiple paragraphs at a time? and apply the dotted blue border. Of course, if we write number, then the pseudo class selector targets to a single element in its parent HTML element. We can use keywords as well as mathematical formula to select multiple elements. As I told, we can use keyword or a mathematical formula in place of n. Here, if I say even, even. There is a keyword called as even which we can use with n pseudo classes. This time I am telling to the browser, locate any paragraph if it is the even child. Okay, if it is the even child, that means any paragraph which is in even position in its parent HTML element applied the 2px dotted blue border. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that any paragraph which is the even child. You can see here, 2nd, 4th, 6th, 8th and 10th paragraphs or children of div1 are having the dotted blue border. Here also you can see in the 2nd div2, 2nd, 4th, 6th, 8th and 10th paragraphs are even children. So they are having the dotted blue border. Quite simple. Similarly, I can use a keyword called as odd to select odd elements. I am telling to locate any paragraph if it is the odd child apply the 2px dotted blue border. Any paragraph which is in the odd position and if it is an odd child you can say file save go to browser and refresh is going to have dotted blue border around it. Can you see that? The first, third, fifth, seventh and ninth paragraphs which are children of div1 are having the dotted blue border. Same thing happens in div2 also. You can see that we are targeting now multiple elements and applying style on them by using the keyword. As I told, we can also use mathematical formula to target multiple elements. Let's go and see the syntax for that. Here you can see, we write a selector, colon, maybe nth child, nth last child, nth of type or nth last of type. In bracket, we use a formula an plus b, an plus b. In flower bracket, we write a declaration list. What this syntax helps us to do? It selects any HTML element targeted by the selector if it is the an plus b child element in its parent HTML element. These three things you need to remember. n is going to be incremented or it starts with a 0 incremented by 1. 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. You can go any far. a can be an integer. By default, it will be 1. That means if you do not give the a value, then it is treated as 1 b can be an integer, by default it will be 0. Let's see an example here. p 
colon nth child of n. What is this syntax indicate? It is same as writing p colon nth child of 1 n plus 0. Of course, as I told, if we do not give the value for a, by default it will be 1, right? Similarly, b by default it will be 0. If you do not give the value, it will be 0. So if you write this or this, both will be same. In brackets, I have written border 2px dotted blue. What this code does? It selects any p element if it is the nth child in its parent HTML element. How you are going to calculate is, this is how you need to calculate. First you write 1n plus 0, 1n plus 0, 1n plus 0, 1n plus 0, 1n plus 0 and so on up to total number of children. Then in place of n, as I told, we write, we start with 0, then we increment 1, 2, 3 like that. So you can see here 0, 1, 2, 3, I have written and then same 0, 0, 0 we have. If you perform the mathematical calculation for this, 1 into 0, 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 into 1 is 1, plus 0 is 1, 1 into 2 is 2, plus 0 is 2, 1 into 3 is 3, plus 0 is 3. So, 0th position paragraph, 1st position paragraph, 2nd position paragraph, 3rd position paragraph and so on are going to have the dotted blue border. In our case, there will be no element which is in 0th position. By default, elements begin with the first position. So, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th. All those paragraphs are going to have the dotted blue border. Let's see the syntax. I go here and write just n bracket. File, save, go to browser and say refresh. You can see that all paragraphs are having the dotted blue border in div1 as well as div2, right? They are nth elements. As I told, you can write here 1n plus 0. By default, a will be 1 and b will be 0. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that all are having the dotted blue border. This is how the browser interprets actually. Automatically, it, re it selects the paragraphs and 1 into n is, let's take n is 1. So, 1 into 1 is 1 plus 0 is 1. It automatically replaces here 1 and applies the border. Then it replaces here 2, applies the border. It replaces here 3, applies the border. Up to all paragraphs it covers. That is how it works friends. I hope you guys are understanding what I am explaining here. Save, go to browser and refresh. Let's see one more example so that you get a clear idea. Here I have another example written. P colon nth child of 2n. It is same as writing p nth child of 2n plus 0. We know that by default b value will be 0. Here I have given 2, so 2 I have written here. And it is same as saying p of nth child of even. We discussed step by step. Anyhow, in flower bracket we have border 2px dotted blue. What this code does actually? It selects any p element if it is the 2nth child in its parent HTML element. This is how you have to solve this problem. Here, 2n plus 0, 2n plus 0, 2n plus 0, 2n plus 0. Replace all n by their default uh, incremented values. So here I have 1, 2, 3, then 4, 5, 6. You can write like that continuously in finite times if you want. Then 0 is as it is you can see. 2 into 1 is 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 into 2 is 4 plus 0 is 4. 2 into 3 is 6 plus 0 is 6. Like that all even position paragraphs are going to have dotted blue border. Let's see that. Here I say 2n, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that all even position paragraphs, which are children, right? Even children are having the dotted blue border. Same thing you can see in a div2 also. Similarly, as I told, you can write here 2n plus 0. That is the default value of b. If you do not give also, same thing will be there. File, save, go to browser and refresh. No change. Similarly, I can write here a keyword even, -E even, file, save, go to browser and refresh. Right? All even children in div1 are paragraphs. They have the dotted blue border. Quite simple. Let's see one more example. Here, I have written p colon nth child of 2n plus 1. This time I have given the value for p also. Is same as p of nth child of 2n plus 1. 
right it's the same anyhow border 2px dotted blue what this code does it selects any p element if it is the 2n plus 1th child in its parent html element you can write like this 2n plus 1 2n plus 1 2n plus 1 10 times you can write no problem right 2 into 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 2 into 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 2 into 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7 so all odd elements 3 5 7 9 like that are going to be selected and applied to px dotted blue if they are paragraphs in their parent html element let's see the code here i say 2n plus 1 file save go to browser and refresh you can see that first third fifth seventh and ninth paragraphs are odd children and they have the dotted blue border right so remember that it starts n start from zero so i can copy this and paste here i can say here zero 2 into 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. Save, go to browser and refresh. That is how it works. n starts with 0 and it is incremented positively, 1 incremented by 1. Similarly, I can simply write here odd odd file save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that we are getting the same output. I suggest you people to try giving different values to a and b and uh, calculate yourself and check what position elements are going to be a applied a style specified style it is very very useful try using the n pseudo classes so for this tutorial this much is enough friends i suggest you people to use these things in different ways you can use in group selector you can use anything for example i can say here i can say here locate any div if it has the id div1 and if mm -hmm. it has the direct children p and if they are in odd position apply the dotted blue border file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we are getting the same output if i say here e v e n even file save go to browser and refresh only even elements in the div1 are going to have dotted blue border not the div2 so you can use any selector in this place you can use the group selector combination selector you can make much more specific selections you can select in the middle few you can select at the top few like that you can decide that is how the nth pseudo classes will be helpful so hope you guys have clearly understood how we can use the nth pseudo classes we can use nth child we can use nth last child we can use uh, nth of type nth last of type right we can use a keyword a number or a mathematical formula in the next video tutorial, we discuss next selectors. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.